this video, we'll use some Excel financial functions to solve some fairly complicated problems, including the value, determining the present value of a growing annuity. In other words, if payments grow 5% a year, how do you value such an annuity, a, vari a growth, variable growing annuity? Okay. So let's look at the following problem. So we have a 10% discount rate and we win the lottery. So we can get a million dollars an hour, $100,000 a year for 15 years starting today. Ignoring taxes, which is better? Well, we need to find the present value of $100,000 a year for 15 years at the beginning of the year. So that's present value 10%, 15 years. The, you put a minus sign here if you want the value to be positive. Okay. And then basically there's no payment at the end and it's the beginning of the period. So that's worth $836,668.75, which is worse than a million dollars. So the question would be, what do you need each year to break even on that million dollars? Well, that's like a mortgage payment. In other words, you want to know, basically, to get the present value of a million dollars, what amount do you need at the beginning of each year for 15 years to have a present value of a million dollars? So you say 10% rate, 15 payments, which you're borrowing, in a sense, is a million dollars today no payments at the end and it's beginning of the year payments, you need 119,521.62. So in other words, if you discount at 10%, get that amount of money today and then the next 14 years, that would have a present value of a million dollars. So let's look at three more problems. A roof needs to be replaced in an exercise room in 10 years and will cost $75,000 to replace. What should we deposit each year if we're making end of the year payments for those 10 years or the annual rate of interest is 10%? Well, that's like a mortgage payment that would have basically, if you bring the 75000 in 10 years back today, today its present value is 75000 divided by 1.1 to the 10. So your payment would be a 10%, 10 years, and then the present value of that 75000 is 75000 divided by 1.1 to the 10. The last zero indicates end of year payment. The first zero indicates there's no money put in at the end. Now let's talk about a harder issue valuing a growing annuity. So suppose you have a $100 initial payment that basically starts a year from now. Okay, and your payments grow 5% a year and you discount at 10%. What's the net present value of those five payments? Well, the trick is when you have a growing annuity, you don't discount at the rate of 10%. You discount at the rate of basically 1.05, basically replace the dividing by 1.1 by dividing by 1.05 divided by 1.1. And in other words, the effective discount rate would be the 10%, but you take divide by the 5%, 1.05, the growth rate minus one. So basically you discount at 4.7619% and things will work out fine. Okay, so what the situation really is, a year from now you get $100. Two years from now you get 100 times 1.05, and in your one dollar, so we discount it back, you divide by 1.1. Then at time three, you'd get 100 times 1.05 squared, and you discount it back to time one, you divide it by 1.1 squared. So if I want to figure out what the value of this, these five payments are at time zero, I can figure out what the value is at time one, and then discount it back by 10% to time zero. So I do a PV function, okay, using this effective rate, 1.1 divided by 1.05 for five periods, each period that the payment is minus $100, there's no payment at the end, and it's beginning of the year payments because I'm trying to value this at time one. And then I just divide it by 1.1 to throw it back to time zero, and I get basically these five payments, which are right here, are worth 4.1506, and you can check that by simply using the NPV function at 10%, and that would assume the $100 is one period for now, the 105 is two, et cetera. And basically, you get 41506, so that's the right answer. So now, suppose we have that same stream of payments, and we want to know what that's going to be worth in five years. Well, easiest way to do this, I think, is figure out what it was worth today and just pay it forward, so to speak. Take the movie phrase. Just bring it forward by five years by multiplying by 1.1 to the fifth, and that would be 66846. So in this short video, we saw five really interesting problems, fairly complex using our knowledge of Excel financial functions. Probably the most important thing is the, basically, the growing annuity. 
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.